Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to you all in the geo class i am your geo teacher iram nisar geo is the new subject for you in this class so first let's let's we define the word geography that what does it means geography means the study of earth now the question which will come in your mind that what is earth now you can see on the screen this is the earth our planet or you can say our home planet where we live our earth is made up of land and water and the shape of the earth you can see it's like the huge ball but it is flattened on the top which we call the north pole you can see here and at the bottom here is the bottom in the north pole and in the south pole its shape is flattened study of earth means that all the things which are present on the earth like you can see we all human live on earth the same like the birds are are so found on the earth the deserts are found on the earth the mountains are also standing on the earth the rivers are flowing on the earth means all the things which are found on the earth study of earth mean that all these area so inshallah in this book we will cover almost all these thing it is very much interesting subject and you have a chance to know about the world okay here you can see the geo midterm planning 2020 and you have your first topic definition of geography plus introduction about the map of pakistan but before going to proceed the topic it is very important to know about the definition of ge geography so let's open the book on the page first very first page you will see the definition of on very first page you can see the definition of geography geo means earth and the graphy means study the same thing which we have discussed before that the word geo means earth and the word graphy means study about all the things which are present on it geography is the scientific study of the physical and the political features of the earth physical features give us knowledge about the division of the earth deserts forest rivers mountains ocean etc means on the physical features all the natural thing which are present on the earth are called the physical feature i will show you the pictures on the end where is the political features tell us in detail about the various countries population language culture etc means the how many countries are there and which country has the highest population the language of the all countries you you know very well it's change their culture is also change so in this subject we will cover all these thing means we will know about the different countries and their culture as well as their buildings their food etc now let's see some physical feature of the earth number 1 you can see deserts deserts are extremely dry and may be either very hot or very cold places now the second physical feature is the forest the forest is a piece of land with many trees The third physical feature is rivers. A river is a fresh water flowing across the surface of the land usually to the sea. The next is the mountains, a raised part of the earth's surface or you can say the highlands. Now the next is oceans. large areas of salty water is called ocean so there are some picture of the physical feature which i show you for understand the physical features of the earth 
Hopefully you can understand now the word geography and its meaning. Okay, now before going to start the word other countries, first we will discuss about our country. Do you know the name of our country? Yes, Pakistan. Pakistan, which is a homeland. So in midterm, we will discuss and learn the important facts and figure of Pakistan. There are 194 countries in the world and Pakistan is on 34th position in the world among all of them. Now look at the location of Pakistan. Pakistan is located in Asia and if we talk about the specific area so it is located in the south of Pakistan. You can see this is all the Asia and Pakistan is located in the south of Asia. Now I hope it is clear to you all that where is Pakistan on the world. Now let's come to see the map of Pakistan. Now you can see the map of Pakistan in the screen. Before going to start the location of the province, first we will recall the directions. You can see here, this is the east. This direction is called east. Now the opposite of east is called west. What is this? The west direction. Now come here in the upside. This is called the north. This is the direction of north side. And in the downward, it is known as south. It's a direction of south. Now you can see the different color part in the map of Pakistan. These different color parts tell us the different area of Pakistan. So let's start from the largest province of Pakistan. Pakistan total have the four provinces. The largest one is Balochistan, which you can see here. Balochistan is located in the southwest of Pakistan. You can see south west. You can see the location south and west. It is located in the southwest of Pakistan. After this the second largest province of Pakistan is Punjab. Here is Punjab. You can see it is written. Punjab is the second largest province of Pakistan by area but if we talk about the population so it is the most populous province of Pakistan and it is located on the east side of Pakistan you can see the location of east and now match with Punjab yes this is located in the east side of Pakistan now come to the third largest province of Pakistan which is Sin. Sindh is the third largest province by area and if we talk about the population so it takes the second position. The location of Sindh is in the southeast. You can see southeast. South here and east. You can see east. Southeast. Now come to the fourth largest province of Pakistan which is KPK where we live. This is the area of KPK you can see here. This is all the land area of KPK where we live. KPK is the fourth largest province of Pakistan and if we talk about its direction so it is situated in the northwest. How? You can see north is here and look at the area of KPK north and west. Can you understand? This is the direction of west. So KPK is located in the northwest of Pakistan. After this come to this area which you can see in the top of the Pakistan. This is called formally the Gilgit Baldistan Gilgit Baldistan is also known as the northern part of Pakistan. This area is known as Kashmir. 
but here you can see two different color inside this part the light brown color which you can see here it is known as AJK AJK it which is the self governing state of under the Pakistan government and the rest of this area is known as Jammu and Kashmir which is under the control of India after the location of the provinces of Pakistan now let us we discuss the neighboring country of Pakistan here you can see India India is situated in the east of Pakistan in the west of Pakistan you can see the two countries one is Afghanistan and the another is Iran now come to here here you can see this written China China is situated in the northeast of Pakistan while surrounding by land from three sides the Arabian Sea lies in the south here you can see there is Arabian Sea dear student hopefully you will understand the definition of geography and the introduction about Pakistan map in this lesson inshallah we will see you soon with the new topic Allah Hafiz